Hey guys, it's Phoenix here, and we are playing some Empire Total War, as you can see. Finally gotten around to playing some Empire. Um, Going to be playing some Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai as well. So look out for that on my channel sometime, probably within a few weeks after this episode is up. Um, <coughs> whoa. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, <laughs> options, uh, graphics, I'm just going to show you guys here. Everything is pretty high. It's not on the highest um, <clears throat> because I don't quite know how Fraps is going to react to ultra high graphics and everything. So I'm keeping everything on regular high, unit size is large, everything's going to run perfectly smooth. So everything should be fine there. And if I go to the sound, you can see I've got some of the music still up. Um, and I've lowered the sound of the speech and effects a bit here. The master's full volume though, so it's all good. Anyway, we're going to go into the grand campaign. And as you saw at the end of the Denmark episode, I'm going to be playing as the United Provinces, medium, medium. Um, we're going to be doing long campaign, and if we finish that, then we might carry on, depending on how many episodes we go through. So, um, and depending on what you guys think as well, I'll probably do one of those voting things I do at the end of the campaign, see whether you want me to continue or do another faction or something. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's get this started. Now I have played as the United Provinces before, and I think I've actually got a save file on this uh, on this game at the moment with the United Provinces. Um, I'm going to keep hold of that, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to get them confused. I'll put, um, like with the Eriador campaign when I save, I put in brackets LP for Let's Play so I know which file is my Let's Play series file in case I get them confused. Excuse me, so um, I think I'll, I'll probably do that. Oh, go away. Don't care. Oh, okay. The Gregorian calendar. That's very nice. So let's just put my fleet in here. We don't need them out and about at the moment. Put my gentleman inside this uh, school because that greatly increases the time it takes to research things. So that would probably cost four turns, and now it costs three. And I know that doesn't sound exactly like a lot, but um, in this game, every turn counts. So. We don't need those guys in, out and about there at the moment. Um, right, let's have a look at diplomacy. Uh, Hanover, you are friendly to me, so I shall get a trade and alliance with you. Excellent. Anyone else? Westphalia. These are all minor states, but I quite like being friends and everything with the minor states. It's quite good fun. Cause they're just sort of on my borders here. Anyone in the major factions? Nope. So yeah, now I'm, I'm allies with Hanover and Westphalia, which is pretty cool. So let's go over to India. Actually, no, let's not go over to India. Let's go to the East Indies, where I have this trade fleet. And what I've learned in the past is that um, pirates always attack that trade fleet within like the first one or two turns. And whenever I fight them, I always end up with huge losses, and that's not good. So I've got a fleet here, and I'll send them to rendezvous. Well, I'll send some of them to rendezvous with that fleet, that trade fleet, and uh, hopefully things will be okay. Do do do. Infrastructure. Let's get that road. Um. One happiness, plus one happiness, plus one per turn to town wealth. And then I have, um, I think there's two places over here in the US that I have place, um, settlements, so let's get that one. And we'll get, I won't get the mines yet. I need to kind of conserve my resources, so. And there's an island here, yeah. One thing I didn't check is if I have decent roads here. Yes, I do. It's fine. Okay. See, what can I assassinate? Okay, 31%. What can I... Can I infiltrate? Yes, I can. What army do the Spanish have? They have regiment of horse, demi-cannons, light infantry, and some pikemen. As well as their general, obviously. 
I could probably take them, but I'm biding my time. I need to get certain uh, certain scientific breakthroughs at the moment, so let's just speed this up. I'm actually quite excited to see how you guys are going to react from seeing this Empire series, and probably the Shogun 2 series as well. It's going to be interesting. My plans definitely involve conquering India. India is definitely one of my prime targets. Um, Flanders, which is that Spanish settlement, and obviously France are other aims. Fleet arrives. We'll send them back to the East Indies. Just get a whole load of stuff here in India. Um, six, seven, five, eight, seven, five. But this does open up a load of research, so I might spend two thousand on that one instead. Um, still not got very many trade negotiation options open. That's not very nice. I need more than just two simple settlements. Well, two simple states, sorry. God, I can't even think of what I'm saying. What should I get next? I think I'll probably get a ring bayonet next. I always get the two ba the first two bayonets first because um, the plug bayonet's good, but once you activate the plug bayonet with your units in battle, that's it. They can't fire anymore. They can only be used as melee. So if I get the ring bayonet, then I always have that option to fight um, with melee or fire. So um, that's always a bonus. What fleet is that? Stupid bloody pirates. Go away. There might be a few turns of a build up, um, but trust me, in the long run, it'll all count for everything. So I'm not just wasting my time here. So the Mughal Empire and India are at war. That's good, kind of. Um, I mean, they're always at war, but it's kind of good because it means India can be focused on them or hopefully still be focused on them by the time I plan my invasion. Fleet arrives in here, okay. Pirates! God damn pirates! It's over there. Ah, open. That's good. So now I have trade heading over to this port and to the rest of my faction, which is good. Get another mine. Um. Oh, I do kind of want to take Flanders now, but mm, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to go to war with anyone just yet. Like I said, I still want to get the bayonets, so I'll wait until I get the ring bayonet at least. And then I'll go to war with Flanders. That actually gives me a... How long would that take? That'll take four turns. That's one turn left. So that's five turns to get a build-up. Hopefully that should be okay. Should be enough. I'm just going to take a swig of lemonade here. I keep having to turn my mic off to cough. Okie dokie. So we have ring bayonets completed. Oh, plug bayonets, sorry. Alright, my spy is still successfully infiltrating that Spanish town, which is good. Get rid of 
those notifications. Um, send these native bowmen auxiliary to that port and get rid of those pirate ships. Gives me a chance to repair it as well. That's 2,000 there. Let's get 2,000, 2,500. I think, as you can see, I'm not being, I'm not holding back on using up my money on buying things. That's because the the United Provinces, they're strong, but financially then, or economically, they're not that strong until you sort of build, really build yourself up. I mean, I suppose you could say that with a lot of factions, but with, you know, with factions like Great Britain and stuff, you can get a lot of money fairly, with it, with well, within a fairly small number of turns. Uh, United Provinces, you actually have to be more careful with your money, and you have to set up trade routes like this. So, um, kind of tempted to build another fleet for trade. I can certainly afford two ships. Oh well. Actually, yeah, I might as well. I might just build a small, a sm another secondary small fleet and send that over to the Indies. Um, so I've got ring bayonet going, and I might make regular saves. Oh no, I don't have the United Provinces, I deleted it. Okay. So, United Provinces, bracket, let's play! Bracket. Done. Cool. Yeah, I might make regular saves. Uh, I've learnt from past Let's Play series to make regular saves and not to rely too much on auto saves. Aggressive Poland, Lithuania, Defender Austria. I shall enter war with Austria. So, I'm now at war with people. I know I said I was going to wait, but to be honest, the war is a fair distance away from me. If I was, you know, the war with Spain, or taking Flanders would go to war with Spain, and they're right on my borders, and their allies are France, which means France will go to war with me, and they'll be right on the borders if I take Flanders, which means the war will be right there. This war, on the other hand, is on the other side of Europe, and isn't too much of an inconvenience to me, so um, I'm not too worried about it. And why is the... Oh, Barbary States. I hate the Barbary States. Always pissing me off. As you see, look, there's no borders around me that are red. So, there's... So, West Prussia. Prussia, Prussia. Okay, so Poland and Lithuania went... Okay, right, that's fine. But yeah, they're a good distance away from me. They're, they're nothing to worry about. Um, Let's get that... Get some roads. And spend 2,000 on that. Guess my trade, um, sorry, not my trade, my tax increase. As you can see, 6% bonus to region tax income. So that's 6% extra it cash for here. So I don't know what 6% of 2,233 is, but um, add that to that kind of total, and that's how much more money I'll be getting. Which is quite good. And plus two repression, so anyone who's unhappy won't revolt because of repression. Well, that's the idea anyway. Can I get any trade anywhere else? Come on, there must be some factions. No. That's stupid. That is stupid. Why are, Why can I not? Why? 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 It's not good. My lemonade bottle just popped for some reason. Oh well. I need more trade with factions and I... Damn. Um, I'll see if any of the economic research abilities have anything to do with it. Or actually I'll see if the military navy side has some way of sorting out that problem. Building constructed, lovely. Successful mission, well done. You successfully infiltrated another, the same town again. Philosophy. Okay, apparently I can't do anything. Oh, actually, hang on, military side. Um. Okay, that's military port, pretty much. Okay, so there's not really any, there's nothing I can research that will give me 
um, more diplomatic options. Um, let's get that. That's one trade ship completed. Now I've already got a, I've already got one of these, a military governor and cabinet over here. So I'll probably go for the non-military one on this on this province here. Because the difference between the military and non-military is um, pretty much repression and repression increased attacks and recruitment options. So this, so the military one, you get more troops, which I've got on the other province. So with this one, I'm going to go with tax. I'm making a fair amount of money per turn, apparently. Um, where's my? Let's see. Oh, I've just spent some money, so it will be in the negatives. Uh, da, 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 da. Get that as well. <laughs> Don't know why it's lagging a little bit. Not too bad though. I think it's, I think it's only lagging a little bit at the moment because I got it on super speed. You know when you press space and everything, all the AI moves really quickly. So that's probably why that's doing it at the moment. So uh, building constructed, Weaver's Cottage, Master Prisoner dies. Oh no, the Master Prisoner. And Wilhelm failed his mission. He is no longer infiltrating that town. God damn it, Wilhelm. <laughs> 